increase uh, uh, the uh, interaction, uh, not just on trade, but also on investment, and increase the exchange and cooperation, uh, as uh, we need to make uh, trade resilient, and uh, therefore we need to expand and believe in the FTAs uh, as a tool for growth. So I think um, we, that's what we're doing uh, with, the, with uh, countries all over um, and we hope to see uh, results from, from that uh, increased interaction with, with our other trading partners. So um, we need to articulate around the WTO reform, uh, around the multilateral trading system, but also uh, to increase plurilateral and bilateral trade links. And that is what we're doing with Indonesia. And that's an invitation that we also do for uh, ASEAN countries to expand uh, our interaction uh, on trade and investment terms with the Latin American region. And of course, we see that Chile is an interesting platform to do that uh, for uh, Indonesia and ASEAN countries. Well, China uh, as a global player uh, is and will remain as, uh, as, as a big trading partner for Chile is the top trading partner and for that is to increase our trade links with other trading partners like we're doing uh, with ASEAN countries and precisely here with Indonesia by entering into force the CHEPA agreement, the Comprehensive Economic Partnership. But from Chile, we're doing so also with partners in the North Africa region, in the Middle East, in um, India, in the Eurasian Economic Commission and others, because we think that um, we need to expand our trade. Uh, we're a small uh, economy that relies heavily on trade, so we need, uh, uh, so as to base our trade, our growth in trade, we need to expand the, the, the rate of, uh, of, uh, of, of our trade with other nations and uh, not just with the current trading partners. Well, in fact, we are uh, among the nations or the countries that um, is most exposed to the trade tensions because of our reliance on commodities. So the trade tensions are impacting our exports. We've seen a decrease in our exports to nearly 4% compared to the last year. Um, and the commodity prices uh, also have been affected. So uh, we, that's why we are so much focused on expanding our trade with, uh, all, uh, with other nations and other countries and other regions because uh, we've seen a, a hit uh, or an impact of the trade tensions in our trade and um, the, uh, the rate expansions uh, of growth uh, are also being reviewed and being adjusted because of the impacts of the trade tension. So we have seen, of course, uh, uh, opportunities as part of the trade tension, but certainly also uh, additional risks uh, that threatens our growth and, of course, that concerns us. Well, that's very important uh, question because uh, the CPTPP, uh, even with the US out of the table, is still a market of 500 million uh, consumers that accounts of uh, the 13 percent of the world's GDP. So for us, it's also very important. It still is the most important FTA of the Asia Pacific um, and the third in the world. So. Of course, for us, it's important to grasp those opportunities. And uh, even though we have FTAs with all 11 TPP, well, 10 TPP, 11 countries, uh, it still provides uh, important market access gains uh, with markets as important uh, for us uh, as Japan, which is our fourth um, uh, export destination, uh, but also with Vietnam, with Malaysia, which still has to ratify. Uh, and Mexico, Canada, on aspects that uh, uh, we are not, we're not covered by our current FTA. So we see 3,000 different products that get market uh, access in agricultural products or agro foods, um, which uh, uh, is a very competitive uh, sector uh, of Chile. So we expect uh, to benefit from that and to increase our presence in markets uh, 
uh, that are different to our top trading partners as half of our trade is explained because of uh, China and the US. So um, this market is very important for us uh, and also as an open uh, treaty uh, we expect to see new countries uh, joining the TPP-11 soon. Uh, the UK has expressed its interest but also countries like South Korea or Thailand have uh, uh, expressed interest and uh, we think it sets also uh, the architecture of the future of trade uh, because you know next generation issues are covered. We see it as a very inclusive agreement as it covers women, indigenous peoples, SMEs. We expect to measure the positive impact of the agreement and uh, so that's why we are very excited about it as not just an instrument for trade but also as an instrument for inclusive trade.